Okay, so I said I would uh, work out this problem for you. Um, hopefully I'll do it before the battery and the camera dies, but it might. Um, but you'll never know, because then it won't finish. So why am I wasting my time telling you this? I don't know. Okay, so here's the situation. Here's the X and Y axis, and here's uh, a ring. Uh, a, a C is for cookie-shaped rod of negative charge Q spread over that, and this has a radius of... R. And we want to find the electric field at that point right there. So the way we do this is we always say, okay, I'm going to uh, break this into a little piece. I'll call that DQ. I'm going to find the electric field due to that piece. And then I'm going to add up all the electric fields to all the pieces. So let's locate this piece by the angle theta right there, and, which isn't the normal use of theta, but it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. Uh, that's going to make an electric field going this way, DE. And if I wanted to, I could write DE equals um, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught DQ over R squared, because this is a distance R away, right? So that's the, that's the magnitude of that. And then I can write that as a vector. I can write that as negative... Um, it wouldn't be in that direction. Negative sine theta, cosine theta, zero. That gives me the unit vector in that direction if I have that angle. So that's my my uh, piece. I mean, really, if you if I wanted to, I could I could say add up all the pieces, set up an integral going around the whole thing. But I want to be a little bit smarter than that. I want to look at another piece straight down here that's uh, symmetrical to that piece. It's going to make an electric field going this way um, of the same magnitude because it's the same distance. And it's going to have the same, it'll have, this will be, this is, let's call this 1. DE2 is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught DQ over R squared. And this one's going to have negative sine theta, negative cosine theta, 0, because it's going down. So if I add those together, the y components cancel, and I get two of the x components. Okay. That's if I treat these in pairs. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So um, I can do that, and I can uh, I can find out this whole thing. But the problem is, is anything changing? Yes, yeah, something's actually changing, right? As I move over here, theta is going to change. So I need to integrate over theta and find out what happens. In fact, I'm going to, since I'm including this piece down here, I'm going to integrate from 0 to pi over 2. Okay. But my problem is that I have dq and I don't have d theta in the thing. So let's just call this angle in there d theta, right? It's, it's theta to d theta tells me how big of a piece that is. Um, and then I need to get a relationship between dq and d theta, so I can say um, q over pi equals dq over d theta. If the charge is evenly distributed over this angle, then I can say the total charge over the total angle, which is pi, um, would be that little piece divided by that little angle. So that means dq is going to be d theta q over pi. So now I have an integral here. Now I can say uh, e1 x, I only have the x component that survives, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, the q comes out, q, the r squared comes out, pi r squared. Um, all I have left is, and there's a 2, because I have two of those. Uh, all I have left is the integral from 0 to pi over 2, I have d theta, and then I have uh, negative sine theta. Let me move the negative over here. So, what? Wait. Negative sine theta. That's right. If I'm getting a another negative, because when I integrate that, <clears throat> I get, where does that negative come from? 
that's right there. Sine th okay, let's just proceed. Negative 2 over 4 pi, epsilon naught, q over pi, r squared, and it's going to be negative cosine theta from 0 to pi over 2. Okay, it's going to work. Okay, so this is going to be um, cosine of pi over 2 is 0, minus cosine of 0, which is 1. So it's going to be, that's going to be just, this whole thing is 1. So the answer is equal to um, e, I can write it as a vector even, negative 2 over 4 pi epsilon naught q over pi r squared, and then I have negative 1, 0, 1, 0 newtons per coulomb or volts per meter. And then we can check. We can check some things. Does it have the right units? Does it have units of uh, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q over r squared? This pi, doesn't, this pi doesn't have any units, so yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, it has the right direction. Um, what about as, um, what about, well, we can't do as you get further away because we did it at that point. Um, so there's nothing else we can really, we can really check. I mean, you could do this. You could say, what if I put in the other half? Then I would get the exact same answer, but the electric field would be going that way, and then it would cancel that up to zero, which agrees with the value for the ring. So, okay, that's it. I think I made it through the battery. Let's see, barely, barely.